very much, Chairperson. Deputy President, um, I hear you saying we must refer these things uh, to you and give you specifics. This has been done, um, and you referred it through to the President. But now there was a report from Parliament recently that indicated that this, there exists a problem with the handling of questions. And according to that report, the biggest offender, as pointed out by the uh, follow-up question from Honorable de Toy, the biggest offender for not answering questions is the Minister of Defence. Now, this minister was previously the Speaker of the National Assembly. So it's ironic that a person who held an office that is responsible for the entire oversight role of Parliament over the executive is now the most delinquent member of that executive. But you asked for specifics. So let's focus on a specific question. Uh, you are the leader of government business. So yes, we're giving it to the leader of government business. Specific question. Let's focus on question 220 of 2020, where the Honorable George Michalakis asked the Minister of Cooperative Governance, and I quote, which municipality is regarded as the capital of the Republic of South Africa? The reply that came back from that minister was, and he has a quote, the information requested by the honorable member will be submitted as soon as it is available. Deputy President, your minister did not know where our nation's capital is. So in preparation for today's question session, we reminded her, knowing that this was going to come up, that the answer was still outstanding. Um, and it was still outstanding in spite of the fact she was ridiculed at the time in the media because of this. And by George, she finally answered after two years, her and her inept team of overpaid advisors finally answered. And however, they only identified one of our country's three capitals, but she did answer. And yeah, one out of three, well, 30% is a pass mark by the ANC standards. Here's the question, Deputy President. The president seems unwilling to take action against these delinquent ministers. As the leader of government business, this now reflects directly on you. What have you done to restore the dignity of the executive in spite of its members? Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Deputy President. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson, and uh, thanks to the question. I'm happy that we're now narrowing everything to becoming specific. And uh, I'll request Honorable Chairperson that I single out this specific uh, question to the Honorable Minister so that we deal with it. But as I've said in my reply that uh, every time I, I present a report to cabinet, on the performance of ministers in parliament, in the NSOP, in answering questions. Now, I always point out at ministers that are lagging behind and uh, write to them and request explanation why. Now, some of the ministers, when they answer to such inquiry, they bring forward the point that some of the question requires them to seek information from a municipality and from a province. And that affects the turnaround time and make it longer. Uh, that is why I even propose in my answer to say, if a question revolves around a certain municipality, and the question is asked by the DA, it will be always better to request counselors of the DA to ask that question directly in that institution so that we save, we save time. If the question is about the province, it is always better to ask members of the legislature there to ask these questions. So that here you look at mainly at the national department and their roles. This is what, when I asked ministers about why are they delaying, they give some of this, uh, what I've said now, as reasons to the turnaround time, the delay. 
But however, with this specific question, I think about the minister, I'm prepared to take it up and, and resolve it. Finally, so that we understand each other. Uh, if the minister is on the wrong, we will uh, correct that. Uh, the, the essence of the leader of government is to ensure that we do comply. And you are correct to always re remind us to say, no, 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 we are not complying here, we are not complying here. But I'm here and I'm saying, I want to take up this matter because complying here is not a matter of choice. It should be an obligation that we carry as the members of the Executive Council. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.